Hello everyone, this is AK. Welcome to my another video. I hope everyone is doing good. Well, actually today's video is about partnership based visa and visitor visa. What are the requirements you need to apply for partnership based or visitor visa, uh, which we will see in detail in this video. So uh, to apply for a partnership, your relationship should be based on a legal marriage, civil union or de facto relationship. Living together means like sharing home with your partner. Uh, this does not include spelling, spending time each other's on each other's ho home, sharing accommodation on holiday, living as flatmates in same house, applying for a partnership based visa. So you should be aged around 18 or over or if you are under, seven, uh, under 18 you should have consent of your parents or guardian if you are below 17 and you should have met before uh, applying for this partnership visa not to be close relatives, culturally arranged marriage, visitor visa temporary visa applications outside New Zealand is currently suspended due to COVID-19 outbreak uh, still now they haven't uh, updated about applying for a visitor visa or a partnership based visa basically partnership visa you can apply if you do lived with your partner for a year like 12 months of uh, relationship if you're able to disclose those information you can apply for a partnership based visa but uh, like even like if you're uh, if you're a uh, husband or uh, partner is in New Zealand and you're stuck offshore you can apply based on this and uh, due to COVID outbreak uh, people were not able to meet and uh, this uh, regulation and uh, the time of split due to COVID outbreak will be taken into consideration but main thing is you should have spent before that like 12 months which will be taken into consideration uh, for applying for a partnership based visa visitor visa uh, till now they haven't opened the borders only thing is they have updated about one of application one of residency application and uh, applying for uh, like a residency application on december 1st and march which has been disclosed at this moment so uh, there is no update about visitor visa only thing is as long as the borders open there would be an update about applying for a visitor visa or a tourist visa uh, for a new application uh, to make a new application for partners who uh, stuck offshore so entry requirements for this is length of stay will be three months. You must apply entry permission when you arrive to New Zealand. You can be refused entry if you do not meet character requirements. Your circumstances have changed since you are granted the visa. If you are unable to provide evidence of onward travel funds uh, required by this, uh, uh, like uh, required on this visa, you, your visa might might be denied. So make sure you provide proper funds and uh, requirements uh, as per immigration standard. So conditions of this visa, when it comes to traveling in and out, you it will be a multiple entry visa. If there is no multiple entry conditions on your visa, you need to leave uh, once the visa expires. So meeting criteria for this is, it's a quarantine free travel zone. Uh, proof of identity should be one photo or two for paper based application. Your passport must be valid for three months for paper based application. Send your original passport to make sure to make your process faster applying online like uh, upload your copy of uh, passport if INC requires uh, you should send your passport health requirements chest x-ray uh, and medical examination is required by immigration so make sure you get it as fast as you can and make sure it is updated so if you do call your immigration if you're before applying like uh, if you're stuck inside uh, they will let you know like uh, if your medical or x-ray has been expired so make sure you get that update or if you are applying a new application, uh, health requirements, x-ray and medical examination should be done before applying for a visitor visa. And uh, police clearance certificate which should be provided uh, for immigration while applying for it. Uh, genuine intention of marriage certificate. And if your previous visa was declined for so and so reason, make sure you disclose those information or uh, explaining a letter about why the visa was declined. You have to disclose those information. Uh, uh, if you if the situation has happened uh, previously so any written or uh, documents about marriage uh, how it was arranged uh, if you do have that you should also update those things uh, legal impediment filing a general application about your partner marital status is necessary uh, recognition of partners age must be 18 or less needs uh, guardian support uh, your partner Immigration, if he or she is a resident, status should be disclosed as well. And uh, partner's character requirements, PCC should be like police clearance certificate should be less than six months. Uh, may, and funds, may, bank statement, credit card uh, statement, bank drafts, travel checks. 
So any of these information should be disclosed. Uh, if the partner is pregnant while entering New Zealand, should provide evidence on how you will be able to manage the expenses of expenses of maternity fees. So you should disclose this information if your partner is pregnant while entering New Zealand. So onward travel, uh, you have to disclose funds on uh, return ticket will be available on your visa expire. You will be able to uh, travel back with the proper funds. You should be you should disclose those information as well. Uh, if you are bringing your children like uh, health requirement and uh, relation, relationship status and uh, if you're a legal guardian you should also disclose those information and the residential status of your children this should be disclosed as well so once border opens uh, these are the requirements which will be needed by immigration new zealand whether you're stuck offshore or uh, you're making a new application these are the requirements which needs to be followed and make sure you disclose all the information uh, medical examination x-ray is really important and also the proof of funds should be important like uh, it should be disclosed because immigration requires those information to process your application uh, so that's all for today's video so see you soon with another update uh, bye bye if you have any questions just leave it down in the comments below i will try to make a video or reply to your comments as well bye bye